We are very proud uh, that the city is hosting this uh, meeting and this event. And uh, the first thing I would like to tell you is that we hope that you will have the opportunity to look around, to enjoy the city, and also, obviously, to see our bridges. It's one of the distinctive factors of this city, or better said, of this river. I know most of you have at least studied them, because some of them are quite remarkable. But when we have names like Syring, and we have names like Eiffel, or we have names like uh, Edgar Cardoso, which have had uh, uh, the chance to work uh, in this valley, uniting and joining the, together these two cities, Gaia on the other side and Porto on this side. We have, in fact, these uh, amazing structures, some of them still used, some of them more or less abandoned, like uh, Bridge Maria Pia, which is one of the things that the mayor of Gaia and the mayor of Porto have been trying to think about, what to do with the bridge that is there, that is a fantastic monument, but in fact is not used anymore. What can we do? Maybe some of you will have some remarkable ideas about what to do. Today we decided to form a group, a working group uh, together with Gaia, with the other city, to think how can we cross the river. Should we do it by boat, by vaporators, or should we have new bridges? Should we have tunnels? Or are tunnels not as good as bridges, which is actually my opinion. <laughs> so these are issues that are uh, on every day, uh, they are the concern of the citizens, you know, and uh, therefore it's very important also for us that you come here, have a look around and discuss. But we are very proud of our city, I think we have done a, a good job, and when I, when I mean we, it's the population and the citizens of Porto to transform this uh, old industrial city in a thriving modern contemporary city. I hope you enjoy, thank you very much for your invitation, have a good two days of work, thank you.